Good morning, this is Luke Thomas from Post here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 7.30 in the morning on December 8th, 2021. 7.30 in the morning on December 8th, 2021. Wednesday, December 8th, 2021, 7.30 in the morning. And a couple of days ago on Monday, we put out a warning for California and for major earthquake, which I think still is in the making for California today. Um, However, let's look at what's happened so far. Off of the Northwest coast here, we've had uh, 20 earthquakes, 4.5 and larger. And as far as the uh, significant quakes, we've had 57 earthquakes, significant earthquakes off of the Northwest coast of California. And we had uh, said on uh, Monday, we were looking for a major earthquake to hit uh, California on the 7th. Well, that's when all those quakes began to hit. However, if you look at the uh, uh, graph here, the risk peaks on the 7th, but is ex still extremely high on the 8th, all the way through the 8th. Um, so I believe uh, that we're not, it's not over yet. I think uh, we, we just had a quake here um, uh, near San Francisco, a 2.0. However, this quake should hit somewhere between San Francisco and Los Angeles, most likely near the Coalinga Parkfield area uh, or near Santa Maria here between Santa Maria and Bakersfield. That's the most likely spot between San Francisco and Los Angeles. And um, we've had quakes during the last uh, seven days southeast of California, south of California and uh, northwest of California. However, the, uh, as I showed you just a few minutes ago here, um, we are looking at, let's go back to the California here, all these quakes up here. This is the risk graph and it's uh, extremely high risk. Uh, yesterday when all those quakes hit, into today and it's still above about 95% risk all day today. And then another high risk on the 12th. So uh, still expecting a major earthquake to hit uh, in the uh, area between San Francisco and Los Angeles today. So be prepared for that. Let's take a quick look at some of the other uh, uh, graphs here. Let's see. Uh, El Centro, which is down near the Salton Sea. The risk is very high across the 7th and into the 8th. Uh, so very high risk there as well. And then in Eureka, California, which is Northwest California, there's a peak on the 7th into the 8th. And uh, in Los Angeles, this peak from the 7th into the 8th as well. And San Francisco, very high risk on the 7th into the 8th. So the risk is still uh, not over for the uh, California area and still expecting uh, a major earthquake in the area between San Francisco and Los Angeles today. And then the risk begins to diminish. And then the risk uh, increases again on the, uh, the 11th into the 12th. All right, let's take a look at the Alaska forecast. Uh, uh, 4.5 to 5.0 is uh, possible in Anchorage today on the 8th, on this peak here. Over in uh, Greece, we have a spike in risk, a very high risk on the 9th, coming up tomorrow of December in uh, the Athens, Greece area. And in Tokyo, still have a very high risk um, uh, late on the 8th, of December, and I believe 9, 10, 11, I think it's late on the 8th right now. So this should, uh, significant earthquake should hit near uh, San, uh, Tokyo during the next uh, 12 hours or so. All right, well, we did get a uh, 5.1 5 5 near Tokyo just a while ago. So again, in California, Looking at a, a major earthquake is still possible for uh, the, uh, the area between San Francisco Bay and Los Angeles. 
And here's that spike in risk. And you can see in San Francisco as well, very high risk, the seventh into the eighth. And even though we've had all these uh, strong earthquakes off the Northwest coast, the risk is still very high between San Francisco and LA all the way through. And you can see that here again, all the way through today. And then on the ninth, uh, the risk begins to diminish after that. Um, so looking for a strong earthquake still in uh, California between San Francisco and LA today. Please stay safe and we will update you after, after this uh, quake hits uh, today. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Uh, this again, this is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. And we update those maps every day. 185,000 followers on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, 185,000 followers. And we have now started, we've now entered the 17th year of research, 17 years of research uh, uh, here at quakeprediction.com. So thanks again for your support. And we will talk to you after the earthquake. Thank you so much.